Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another IG Live. Um, my name is Kim, and I'm the fitness quarter for Seneca at York. And welcome to Fun Fridays! Yay! Um, so today uh, we're gonna start <laughs> celebrating St. Patrick's Day early. Why not? It's Friday. It's the weekend before St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's on Wednesday next week, I believe. So we are going to have a little bit of fun and I'm going to show you how to make a cool little treat um, that is not too bad. It is easy to drink. It is easy to make. Um, it can be a lot of fun as well. I know in the ad, I think we had St. Patrick's Day uh, float. Uh, when I was a kid, we called this leprechaun beer. Um, there is no alcohol involved. What you do on your own time at your own home, no one here is going to know. I'm not going to know, but for today, no alcohol is going in this drink. We're just going to have a little bit of fun making a leprechaun float. How about that? So you don't need a lot of ingredients for it. Um, you just need a really cool glass or just a regular glass if you'd like. Um, you need, I'm gonna make it two ways for you. I'm gonna make it kind of like a healthy way and then I'll show you how to make it a really, really unhealthy way. Um, I won't actually make that one fully because I don't have the one ingredient for that, but I'll let you know what it is. And I'm gonna show you different ways that you can make it in different ways that you can have fun with it. So you need some sort of um, ice, ice cream or sherbet. So I have dairy-free, gluten-free, um, plant-based ice cream, which is awesome. It actually tastes really, really good. Um, and then I also have rainbow sherbet. Sherbet. I've usually made it in the past with lime. I have not been able to find plain lime sherbet anywhere. Or sorbet. Sorry, I call it sherbet, but it's sorbet up here in Canada. Um, so this is just the rainbow one. It is dairy-free. It is gluten-free. It is nut-free. I uh, can find it at all the grocery stores. All right, so there is your base, your ice cream or your sherbet or sorbet, whatever you want to call it. The other ingredient you need is, the regular ingredient is pop, um, so a soda, a lemon lime soda. Um, I don't drink that and it's not in my house, so I use carbonated water and this is a lime flavored carbonated water. With the ice cream or whatever else that you're putting in there, there's still enough sugar in it. Um, that you don't actually need that pop, but if you really want to make it sugary and sweet, dump that uh, lemon lime soda in it like Sprite um, or 7-Up, I believe is the other one. Um, you can dump that in there. The other thing you're going to need is whipped cream. So this is coconut whipped topping, gluten-free, dairy-free, um, or you can just use the regular whipped cream. Um, if you're just going out and buying Cool Whip in the tub, they actually make a dairy-free one now, which is really, really awesome. Um, so that's <laughs> People that can't have that, we can actually start exploring with some of the sweet stuff again. All right, and then toppings, uh, sprinkles or sparkles, and I have a little bit of green food coloring as well. You don't have to add that in if you don't want that added um, thing in there, the added ingredient. I'm just going to do it to make it really, really green and really fun this afternoon. All right, so the healthy version. I'm going to take my dairy-free ice cream you want two scoops to go into your cup. One, two. So that's a diet brand. They've actually started making ice cream. It's actually really, really good too. All right. So for the unhealthy one, <laughs> there's going to be two of them. This is going to be awesome. I'm just going to take some of that sorbet, sherbet, whatever it's called. The stuff that's not really ice cream, but still tastes great. I'm going to put two scoops in there. Move my finger. Why not? All right, then what we're gonna do is we are going to pour, I should probably open this over the sink because I shook it. The sparkling water, you have to watch some of them do explode on you. <laughs> Just wanting you to mess in my living room on a Friday afternoon. All right, I'm gonna pour this over and you want it to cover it. So once again, if you want it really, really sugary, you wanna be really, really bad on a Friday, you can use lemon lime soda. This is just sparkling water going in. Put it in there too. Why not? It's Friday. And you want to go all the way up to the top. It's going to float. All right. Okie dokie. So there is there. And you can see that it's bubbling. So for this one, because there's no color in it, like I said, I'm going to be really, really, really bad today. But that's okay. It's Friday. And it's almost St. Patrick's Day. I ran this morning. I taught a spin class. We're good for sugar. I'm just gonna drop in some green food coloring. 
so you can mix that up and make it green. All right, next up, the topping, the whipped cream. So, there you go. There you go. All right. So once again, that is coconut. There's no top for that. Coconut whipped cream. It's dairy free and it's gluten free. It's really, really yummy. And then final step, everyone's favorite. Sparkles, yummy. All right. Eat your heart at Starbucks. Ha ha ha. All right, we're gonna put it in there. I could go work for Starbucks, I think. There we go. Although I don't think they sell this. This is a little out of their line. And this is just green sugar, so it's like sugar group. Oh no, I just put it in there. Sugar is our friend today. All right, and there you go. There is your, and you can see the food coloring started to go down in that, so it's made it really, really green. There is your homemade leprechaun. I call it as a kid, we called it beer. Um, it's your St. Patrick's Day soda float. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And there's the rainbow one there, just in case. Because, you know, leprechauns like rainbows. That's where they hide their pots of gold at the other end. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. Enjoy the sugar feast. Like I said, this one's a little bit more healthy. Um, and be safe, be active, get outside, enjoy that sunshine and that fresh air and work this drink off. Have a great one. I will see everyone again next week. Take care.